with every game ticking down, it's becoming more and more vital to pick up points. Join me as I'll let you know how we should get on versus Wolverhampton Wanderers, and I have a predicted score. Hi everyone, thanks for coming in and uh, watching another video. I couldn't uh, let this video go by without first mentioning Sunday's result, which we all know was a terrible, terrible result. Uh, we lost any kind of leeway that we had in terms of the fight for top four. Um, what most people would have counted as three points, playing at home versus Crystal Palace. Well, that advantage is gone and other results, other results people have kept us in it, in the race, uh, especially versus Manchester United and Chelsea. And we have some hope down the line because Manchester United will play Manchester City tomorrow, uh, the same time as our game versus Wolverhampton Wonders. But also Manchester United have to play Chelsea at Old Trafford. Um, this weekend so in a in a perfect world manchester city will be manchester united tomorrow uh, restricting manchester united getting any points and chelsea will drop some points versus manchester united in either a draw or a defeat for chelsea which would be very very beneficial to us uh chelsea lost points on monday and manchester united lost points on the, on sunday uh, as well as us and what can we say about the Crystal Palace game it was just atrocious and yes we can blame one person one defender uh, really a dereliction of his duty he's a defender who is a bit of a showboater um, he's relying on his seniority within the squad to be able to lambast and blame other people namely the goalkeeper um Skadron Mustafi is a World Cup winner. Somehow, some way, he's got a medal to show for his efforts at the end of his career. But that does not allow you to um, blame other people for your own mistakes, Skadron. Um, particularly that second goal. Um, pretty uh, important header that Koscielny needed to win in midfield. When he got drawn out of the back four for that goal. Uh, Koscielny didn't win it. Elneny didn't compete in midfield for the same ball. And our friend Skadra Mustafi was left all alone with the ball going past him. And he tries to um, block off Wilfred Sa, who was a pacey, pacey winger. A good player. Um, Skadra Mustafi is... In his mind, he's thinking that Bernd Leno is going to come storming off his line 20 yards and clear the ball. Well, that's never going to happen. That was a ball for you to deal with, Mustafi. And you had a bit of a dereliction of duties. And by your seniority and you're in the squad, you're trying to blame Bernd Leno, who's in his first season. And you just need to own that situation. Own what you did. And understand that if you own it, you'll, the fans will not like it, but they will accept it. But Mustafa, you have pretty much limited yourself for the rest of the season in terms of appearances. I don't know if uh, Mustafi will be lining out tomorrow versus Wolverhampton Wonders. To do also on the corner routine, to run out of the marking duty that you have on the back post for that third goal was also very very bad Skadra Mustafi so um, we all know what happened it was a really really bad result a really really bad defending and it's not been the first time for Skadra Mustafi now let's move on because I could de devote uh, a lot more time to Skadra Mustafi but he is not worth it we are now in a position where we have four games left in the season and some other teams have three games left in the season. And every um, team, Manchester United, ourselves, Arsenal, 
and Chelsea seem to be saying, go ahead, you know, we don't want this top four spot. We're not consistent enough. And it's really a race of the inconsistencies, the team that, the teams that are inconsistent. Unfortunately, we have to say maybe Tottenham are going to get into top four. And it's going to be one from the three remaining uh, teams. Chelsea, Manchester United, ourselves. I've already mentioned how we could benefit from results coming down the line. But we need to take care of business uh, tomorrow versus Wolverhampton Wanderers ourselves. And here's the team that's going to do that. Um, Emery put out a lightweight team on Sunday due to injuries and knocks and nicks and things that are going to happen through the season. Our squad is threadbare right now, and you've seen from the Crystal Palace game how we can be hurt by an injury here, an injury there. Um, so we're really exposing our squad now at the end of the season, having lost Rob Holding, having lost uh, Hector Bellerin, and having lost uh, Welbeck. And then you're getting down to the likes of Mustafi, Jenkinson, and these types of players who are playing in the first team. But we should have a pretty strong team tomorrow. And in, adversi in adversity, every time we faced a difficult result, albeit the return game has been at home, but this uh, Arsenal team has responded. So I am expecting Arsenal to respond tomorrow. And here's my team. Obviously, uh, Bern Leno, who I feel was not at fault for any of the goals on Sunday. So he should line out. And then it's the old... Uh, Three at the back, um, Socrates, Socrates, and Koscielny alongside Monreal. Um, these players should be rested now and fit enough for a vital game versus Wolverhampton Wonders. They um, have had, Wolverhampton have had indifferent form since uh, the FA Cup semi-final in which they lost to Watford. So they're on a little bit of a downer and we need to take advantage of that. Our wing backs, as usual, will be Kalasinac and Ainsley Maitland Niles, who Maitland Niles has acquitted himself wonderfully this season, um, staking a claim to be in the team for next next year as well, and a reliable player in this difficult first season in terms of injuries with Bellerin being out and no um, qualified uh, right back to cover him. Uh, we would play two in midfield, Jacka and Torreira, and we should be so happy that these two are back. Uh, they do work very well together. Uh, the pivot works very, very well together, and hopefully Torreira and Jacka can keep things tight in midfield and allow these three forward players that I'm going to mention to do some damage. Uh, for light, for the sake of balance, we're going to need a will be back in the team. He does quite well carrying the ball and he gives some balance on the left-hand side. For more balance, we're going to put Mkhitaryan on the right-hand side and we're going to play Lacazette up front. Um, we're going to see how that goes because Lacazette can hold on to, hold on to the ball and maybe uh, if things don't go to plan, uh, Aubameyang can come on in the second half and uh, Emery can have some impact from the bench. Uh, Aubameyang is a pure goal scorer and in these kinds of games when the, the game gets a bit stretched he can be used to best effect and he could go into a counter-attacking mode after 65-70 minutes uh, of Lacazette trying to wear them down. Wolverhampton Wanderers, where, where are they right now? They've had a, they've had a wonderful season. Um, they're a dangerous team. They've done very, very well against the top teams. They beat Tottenham at Wembley. Uh, they beat Manchester City. Uh, they've drawn with us back at the Emirates in what was a very, very tense and difficult game. And they have beaten Manchester United twice. So we can't take this team lightly. We need to go about our business. Uh, four games left. I think that we really need 10 points but nine points might be enough um, but in any case this is a vital vital game that we cannot lose and if possible we need to go ahead and win this game um, I am gonna go for a very very recovered result a um, the teams the players are gonna come back 
and show the grit and determination that they need to have to get into the top four. I'm forecasting a 3-1 result. Um, Arsenal to win 3-1 and get back on track. Hopefully Manchester United will have lost and that will count Manchester United out. We go to the weekend then where Manchester United and Chelsea will play and um, hopefully they will, they will both drop points there in a draw. Um, we will have Leicester City on Sunday away from home. But let's get over to Wolverhampton Wanderers um, hurdle first and we go forward. Come on, you gunners.